like Fred was talking about a pair of cleats. When we started this whole thing, I didn't have my hearing aids in. And so I'm looking all through scripture for small colorful birds. As a Christian, are you a chicken or a pig? When it comes to breakfast, the chicken is involved, right? But the pig is committed. Um, more on that in a couple of minutes. Um, as, as has been stated before, paraclete is a Greek word that means roughly advocate or helper. The early church identified the paraclete as the Holy Spirit. In John 14, as Jesus was explaining to his disciples about going to his father's house to prepare a place, he says in John 14, um, verses 4 through 6, And you know the way where I'm going. Thomas says, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How do we know the way? Jesus said to him, and I think we know these words, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Oh, that's profound. Later on in verse 16, Jesus says, I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper, an advocate, so that he may be with you forever. This implies, at least in my mind, as that Christ as our advocate and the Holy Spirit will advocate for us and within us until he returns. I know I have a rather interesting take on some of the scripture sometimes, but, uh, but to reinforce this, in verse 26, Christ says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of all that I said to you. So what about that chicken and the pig? Are you involved or are you committed? If you are committed, you will need help to stay on your path of commitment. And Jesus and God knew that. Hence, a paraclete in the form of the Holy Spirit to be our advocate, our helper, to teach you all things and remind you of all that he said. 